in a year that saw Lionel Messi take the plaudits in the Champions League final. It was a buzz of another story coming out of Wembley that caught the headlines. The FA Women's Premier League was replaced with the Women's Super League. 16 clubs applied for the inaugural season, but only eight teams were successful. The debut season began in April and ran through to the end of August, with a mid-season break in place to accommodate the World Cup. After 14 games, Arsenal were crowned champions to win their eighth consecutive title and the first ever WSL title, completing a domestic treble winning both the FA Cup and the League Cup. The next season, Arsenal continued to flex their muscle, retaining their title as well as the Continental Cup. But in 2013, it was a different story. The next season meant the start of a new chapter. The previous year's bottom two, Liverpool and Doncaster Bells, faced dramatically different outcomes. It was announced that the following season would introduce a second division. And as such, all clubs were forced to reapply for their WSL status. Doncaster were the only club to be rejected. Liverpool, on the other hand, had a very successful season, releasing 10 players and bringing in some big names. The Reds went on to win their first ever league title. The 2014 season saw Man City take the place of Doncaster Bells as a promotion and relegation system was in place for the first time. Liverpool only just retained the title on goal difference after finishing level with Chelsea on 26 points. Everton were the first club relegated to the WSL2, ending their 21-year stint as a top-flight club, with Sunderland being promoted. In 2015, Chelsea announced that many of their players would become full-time for the first time, which coincided with their inaugural league title, as well as winning the first FA Cup to take place at Wembley. Bristol were relegated to the WSL2, while Doncaster Bells and Reading were promoted as the league expanded to feature nine clubs. The following year, after only two seasons in the league, Man City joined the exclusive Champions Club, winning their first ever title without losing a single match and completing a domestic double. At the other end of the table, Doncaster continued their yo-yo few seasons. Notts County folded and both Yeovil and Bristol were promoted. In early 2017, the clubs all participated in the FA WSL Spring Series, an interim edition of the WSL running from February to May 2017, bridging the gap between the 2016 WSL season, which ran as a summer tournament, and the 2017-18 season, which was set to start in September. Knox County folded again, which meant only nine teams competed in the league, with no promotion or relegation in place. Chelsea were once again champions on goal difference, finishing above Man City. The 2017-18 season was the last of its kind in the 10-team structure. Chelsea raced away as winners once more, joining Arsenal and Man City in completing an unbeaten season. The 2018-19 season was a monumental season for women's football, as for the first time the WSL was a fully professional league. Both tiers were now consisting of 11 sides per league, as Brighton and Hove Albion joined the top tier, and four new clubs joined the newly renamed WSL2, the Women's Championship. Arsenal once again secured another WSL title, thanks in part to their Dutch striker Vivian Miedema, who smashed the record for the most goals in a single WSL season with 22. The 2019 season will see Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur contest at the highest level for the first time ever, as the WSL will play host to 12 teams, the greatest number in the league's history.